Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Everybody hear me good? Awesome. Welcome to Issio Day North America 2024. Thank y'all so much for being here. We're going to uh, wait for everybody to file in. And I I'm, I'm, can't tell you how excited I am uh, to be able to have you here and to have this, uh, this list, this schedule of such amazing speakers. We're going to get together. We're going to talk about Istio. We're going to talk about how you're using it. Uh, hear from maintainers and our TOC members about new advances in the technology and the project. And even more importantly, how you can get involved in Istio. So, uh, got a lot of stuff, a lot of content prepared. We're going to need every minute in this, um, to, in, in this session. So let's go ahead and kick things off. First thing, a couple of housekeeping things. Oh, first of all, I'm your, I'm your chair, uh, co-chair of SEO Day, Keith Maddox. Uh, if, you, if you're a speaker and you need anything, or if you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Happy to help you as we uh, go throughout the day. Uh, like I said, a couple of housekeeping things first, uh, as far as the code of conduct for this event. Uh, we are covered by the CNCF code of conduct. Um, best way to think about this, since there is a it's a rather long document, uh, remember the golden rule, right? Treat others the way that you would like to be treated with kindness and with respect. Uh, if you want to see more details on that code of conduct, you've got that QR code up there for you to be able to learn more. Um, and there are various places across the venue for you to be able to um, um, kind of lodge a code of conduct violation report. Hopefully you won't need to though. Uh, captioning translation, we've got uh, some amazing partners who help make days like Istio Day uh, and KubeCon happen. And uh, one of those partners provides captioning and translation services. If you'd like to take advantage of that, um, you can access it via Wordly on your personal device. Scan this QR code, it will take you there, um, and you can choose your language and all those sorts of things. If you have any, um, any questions or issues getting that to work, again, feel free to reach out to me. I can help you get that started. This event would not happen without our amazing sponsors. Uh, we have Microsoft Azure uh, sponsoring this uh, conference here at a gold level, and uh, Google Cloud as well also at a gold level. Um, let me tell you, there's so much that goes on to making these events like Istio Day happen. Um, the, the way and the reason you're able to get uh, this content, you're able to get this time to come together, uh, is because of our sponsors. So give up a hand, please, for our gold sponsors, Azure and Google Cloud. Uh, I think most folks have already eaten, but uh, just, uh, just in case, lunch pickup uh, will take place, uh, has taken place outside of the ballroom in the south foyer. Um, you've got seating all throughout here. We've got plenty of seats, uh, so folks want to keep coming in. We've got plenty of spaces to sit. And we also have uh, coffee, tea, and water refreshments available uh, as you have need. Um, one of the things that we often do at our co-located event is get excited about the next uh, events, the next instances of our Colo events that are happening. Um, our 2025 Europe CNCF hosted co-located events have already been announced and the CFPs are already open. So if you'd like to be up here um, during the next, uh, the next Istio Day, um, it's going to be in London in 2025 in April, uh, sign up for that CFP. It closes Wednesday, uh, December 4th, uh, 2024. Uh, so you've got a little bit of time, but not a lot. So um, Please get those ideas and submissions in. I'm looking forward to providing even more great content for you next year. Community news, wanted to take a second before we get uh, the talk started for today to talk about some really exciting news coming out of the Istio community here in the past couple of weeks. Um, first of all, the Istio, the much awaited Istio ambient mode has reached GA status, finally. Um, after over three years of investment in time from the Istio community, we are at GA status. What does that mean? What does GA mean? Um, well, GA means that uh, not only is Istio ambient mesh production ready, it's, it's ready to be used in the most um, mission critical workloads. You've got a wide array of testing and scalability and performance analysis that we've, been, that we've done uh, on, the, uh, on the project, and Ambient Mesh has uh, reached that threshold. There's a blog post that uh, will detail uh, everything that's covered under that general availability status, and uh, there is uh, uh, all the information you could want there in that blog post, and you can get that in that QR code. I scan it, it should take you right there. Again, we are super excited as a project and as a community about this release and about uh, having Ambient BGA because uh, it represents our belief and the vision that everyone can run STL, complexity not included. 
Uh, other news, uh, this is also a really great time to start contributing to the Istio project. Um, We've taken, uh, as a steering committee, we've taken a look at our um, TOC process. We made some changes. Uh, we think that with the great diversity uh, and amazing contributions uh, of, our, of our community, that we need to have regular technical oversight committee elections. And so what this means is that uh, every year, once a year, there will be three TOC seats that are up for uh, up for election, and community members, community maintainers specifically, can submit their names to be considered for um, appointment for the, uh, to the TOC for a, uh, a two-year term. And so um, there's certain criteria uh, as far as what we uh, want to see as far as a ideal uh, candidate uh, for a TOC member, and all of that's covered uh, in the blog post that is also available here in this, uh, in this QR code on this slide. Uh, so please, if you're interested, uh, take a look and take a read. Um, and again, just want to say that the, the beauty of open source, uh, the thing that helps bring us here, that helps us do amazing work, uh, is the fact that everybody can contribute. Uh, everybody has to start somewhere. And so if you have any interest in contributing to the SEO project, uh, we've got maintainers and community members who are more than happy to help you uh, to reach your goals. Uh, lastly, I um, want to uh, recognize a couple of our um, ICO Technical Oversight Committee members who have recent, recently moved to emeritus status, um, moving on to the next chapter in their, in their lives, and uh, that, uh, unfortunately for us, means they're no longer going to be involved with the ICO project. Uh, Niraj Podar and Eric Van Norman have both been instrumental in bringing ICO to where it is today, and we just want to take a second and, and thank them for their contributions over the last five plus years. Give it up for Niraj and Eric. That is all I have as an opening. You'll get to hear from me later in our, uh, in our program. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to ask Mitch and Justin to kick things off with the first talk of the day.